Hi everyone, how are you? My name is Ordinary And welcome back to Student Union So last episode, uh, we got a big prank <laughs> By the girls And uh, things getting escalated real quickly We possibly uh, We are in debt right now and uh, Possibly a broken friendship <laughs> I guess But uh, it's getting real exciting I really enjoyed this game so far So uh, that's why I cannot wait to continue this story Hopefully I can finish the uh, The demo soon So I can give my uh, final thoughts about it And by the way uh, You can still support the game on Kickstarter I'll leave the link in the description as usual You can go check them out And see for yourself if you want to support it or not or possibly play the demo by yourself So yeah, let's continue our journey Alright, so uh, we are going to visit Mr. Underwood's office now After lunch Along with Holly, I guess <laughs> Along the way, I look back at her Hey, did Alice ask you to join the student group too? Holly nods I said no Why? <laughs> well, I guess he has her own reason Okay Oh Look at <laughs> she, uh, she took down her uh, Cat ears Because we are going to visit Mr. Underwood's office And she wants to be more formal, I guess <laughs> Uh, so because uh, I, I guess because we're gonna discuss something serious about the incident What should I say? To Mr. Underwood? I'll introduce you and you'll just tell the truth Maybe he'll lighten our sentence She nods again, nervously this time <laughs> I don't know, I'm also nervous I don't know what will Mr. Underwood say to us it's been so kind, so I, I feel bad for making a huge incident Triple dot Ah no <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry Um Come in Alice and Mr. Underwood are waiting inside So it feels like Holly and I are interrupting Oh, Alice been here first, huh? Alice is sitting stiff in one of the seats across from the desk and looking at the wall. Face turned from us. Underwood stands from his desk. He addresses Holly. Hmm, who may help you? Mr. Underwood, this is my friend, Holly. Oh, <laughs> Alice turned to see Holly, surprised, feel betrayed, NTR. <laughs> she wanted to come with me to help explain what happened today. I pat Holly's back, guarding her forward. She steps up gingerly. Mr. Underwood's expression softens. Huh. It is nice to meet you, Holly. Take a seat and start from the beginning. Lane, please close the door. I do so and stand to the side, taking care not to lean on the wall. Holly recounts the event, honestly and truthfully. I'm sorry, I cannot. I still cannot say that word. My tongue skip twisted. How do you say that word again? Thoroughly. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Alice and I lock eyes when Holly gets to the part about me hitting her And I look down We listen to completion So you see Len blame Alice And Kane blame Len But it was my bad idea of a joke Her hands tremble in her lap So do I, Holly <laughs> 
I'm the most at fault, sir. Thank you for choosing to come forward. It was very mature. I agree. Guilt is compelling. Mr. Underwood adjusts his roll-up sleeve. I step forward. She also would like to join the student union, sir. What? <laughs> what do you mean, Len? No, she doesn't. We are resolved to ensuring the, that when these ki kinds of misunderstanding occur, no one should resort to violence. Underwood raised an eyebrow, and Holly stares at me incredulously. Now it, first try. <laughs> She then looks at Alice, who merely grins. She is outnumbered. Is that so? Uh, yes, sir. He looks at the ceiling for a few seconds. He's probably de deciding what to do with this. Uh, with us, I mean. Alice finally chimes in. I think Kane's punishment was too severe. Your input was uh, is noted. I disagree. Oh, really cold shoulder. <laughs> he leans forward. In strict terms, both Kane and Len committed assault. Unacceptable. Both of you girls caused a lot of trouble with your mischief, using that fake hand from the drama club. What were you thinking? It's from Drama Club, huh? It's really realistic, it's impressive. <laughs> I mean, uh, I, it fooled me before. Well, uh, I would like to see the Drama Club, probably with Evans, because I believe Evans, uh, Evan wants to uh, join Drama Club, if I remember. Sir, I was overly competitive and took it too far. It was a prank in the bad days, and I realize it now. But you still won't forgive me, huh? <laughs> he glanced at me before massaging the bridge of his nose. You three will perform janitorial duties for the next three evenings, for one hour after school. Even economical. Will that interfere with the cleaner's work? We don't have cleaner's work yet, what? <laughs> Are you gonna say that, Mr. Underwood? We don't have one! What the hell are you mean? <laughs> what the hell are you saying? <laughs> oh, <really? laughs> oh, I was right? What? what? What's wrong with this school? We do not yet have a janitor this year. What? Then who cleans the stairs? Oh, Miss Webb. She was cleaning the blood to avoid evidence. <laughs> yeah, it's really strange for school not even have a janitor. It's really essential for the uh, for the evidence work. In lack of the circumstance, I believe it will provide insight of on the school's current needs for your group and represent a team building exercise. We are still allowed to create a group. What is that word? I don't even know what that means. <laughs> Tentatively. I'll do it, sir. I will too. Good. Alice? Uh, of course, sir. Mr. Underwood stands. Thank you. All of taking responsibility and making an effort to make past to move past this. I expect we will not need to have a repeat of this conversation. Yes, Mr. Underwood, I'm so sorry. <laughs> We not and varying speed. Holly is particularly empathic. We three 
walk down the hall quietly at first, but eventually, Holly can contain her need to faint. Oh, cute, <laughs> Paul. Why did you make me go to there, in there, and join the club? What the heck? <laughs> cute. Oh, <laughs> even cuter. She likely punched me in protest, hopping with each pep. I smirk and gently defend myself. Hey, we said no violence, remember? You said several things I don't disagree. Uh, I don't agree with, Mister Lenson. <laughs> with my hand on her head to hold her back, she puffs up. You should feel glad. I could have gotten revenge like in the gangster movies. <laughs> You're going to cut off my pinky. <laughs> oh. Like in Yakuza. I love this conversation. If I was feel poetic, I make it to your whole head. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, that's rude. That's evil. Eep. <laughs> oh, I love this. She hops back. Alice watches us with arms crossed. We all got off easy, actually. Yeah, you're right. Actually, it's not really that hard punishment. Unlike Ken, who got suspended. I continue to address Holly. So I can count on your foot, right? Oh, what, what's wrong with uh, what's with that eyes? I I. Uh, it's only fair if I join to apologize to you. That fought for Alice to apologize to her. Okay, fair enough. I give her a pet pet. She swats, <laughs> she swats it away in mock protest. That's fair enough. Thanks. The bell sounds as Alice tread closer. Her voice travels through the ringing. What are you planning? So. You are not quitting after all. No, I guess not. If you accept my apology, I'll consider not keeping you on cleanup duty. I won't do that, but I will work with you if you remain semi-competent. I extend a handshake. Deal. Alice stares at my hand long enough to discomfort me, and walks away. Damn, that's really rude. That's, that's mini. I don't want to swear. I'm sorry, but you left me hanging. Holy sex shakes my outstretched hand in place of Alice, and whispers, "Deal. Hehe. <laughs> See you after school." Oh, thanks, Holly, for not letting him hanging. Heh, <laughs> see ya. She leaves, too. My stomach scrolls, but I can't hear it over the... Corn? Charn? How do you say that word? <laughs> I'm so sorry. Charn of students around me. I feel the rumble of my abdomen as I go to class. Well, I guess uh, after you feel relief, uh, your stomach star stops hungry, huh? Having deci deciphered the angry stares from the yes yesterday's study hall, coach decided we could use a free period in the gym today. Oh, th thanks coach. <laughs> How nice of you. I sit on the bleachers alone, watching students socialize and play on the basketball court. I'm not looking forward to unpaid cleanup duty after this. I run my finger through my hair, carefully not, uh, carefully up to the edge of the bandage. The itches irritates me. 
don't scratch that land Does it hurt? I flinch and turn to the tall girl from yesterday Oh, it's Ned Oh, Ned, right? Oh Okay, uh, I heard from the devs that uh, Ned actually uh, a Russian So should I use a Russian accent? <laughs> Uh, when reading her dialogue, I don't know. <laughs> I don't think I can pull that out. It's sore, but not too bad. What's up? You are pale. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know how Russian accent sounds. <laughs> like, uh, so I go like the uh, the girl from Overwatch, the Russian girl. I forgot the name. Oh no, I don't remember her name. <laughs> oh, never mind. No, I'll just uh, do my best. My confusion disperses after a second, and I chuckle. <laughs> like that? <laughs> oh, you're worried about me. I'm okay. She placed a fresh water bottle on the seat near me. Stay hydrated, folks. You can't have this. Huh. Hey, you never said why you weren't interested. Inviting her to sit with me, I pet the seat. She hesitates. In the page student group, I mean. She, she sits. A little further away than ge my gesture indicate. Oh, there's still distance between us, huh? Well, that's fine. I might be going home soon. Going home? I sure hope so. The day's almost over. To my home country. Oh, to Russia? I open the bottle and drink. I'm this thirstier than I realized. <laughs> oh, that sounds wrong. Well, I'll be really thirsty if I'm looking at those abs, I guess. <laughs> those breaths. Oh, where are you from? Oh, s yes. So I got spoiled by the devs. <laughs> Russia? My family may move back. Oh. Sorry. No, I want it. What's wrong with here? She stares at me. I'll repass. Why do you want to move back? F friends and family? <laughs> I'm sorry, with that accent. I'm trying my best. You have those here too, right? Not my brothers or my boyfriend. Oh, so she's taken. Huh. The last of the cool water slides down my throat as I upturn the bottle. Thanks for the water. Aqua Sama. <laughs> I'm so sorry, I cannot uh, help by making that joke because she's blue. I got the empty container. That's hard. Sorry. Hope the move back won't be too much of the of a pain. Triple dot. Thanks for the water. Do you need to leave school? Do I look that bad? You appear unsteady. I smell and shake my head. It's sweet for her to worry. Nice. <laughs> She's really kind. I stand firmly as an example. I'm fine. See? I'm going to take a little walk. Talk to you later. If she responds non-verbally, I don't see it as I turn and stride into the hall. I check my phone. 
no unread message. Check your Twitter then. <laughs> oh, there's a choice. Oh, this feels important, so uh, I'm gonna go do a really quick save. PRB. <laughs> Alright, I'm back. So, uh, for the choice is to text holy or text miss web. I guess this is for the uh, for the root I can choose. Honestly, I really like holy. Uh, she's so energetic and cute. So I guess I'll go with holy now. I don't know. I, I mean, miss web is also cute, but. Uh, I still prefer Holy. <laughs> so let's go then. Hey, almost ready to clean some toilets. You, <laughs> you, no way. That's what squares are for. Left my gloves at home, my lady. <laughs> Quest, acquire cleaning supplies from the utilities closet. What's the quest reward? <laughs> anti fecal gauntlets. What's the stats and the effect? I'll pick a few things up. Oh. The toilet is really dirty for this cold is good, I guess. Who vandalized the, the toilet in the school? That's that's bad. I leave my ass for my phone while entering the restroom. Prodding under my eye with my four fingers. I inspect myself in front of the sink. I'm pale. And the shiner under my left eye is dark. Or shiner. Maybe. Oh, I splash my face. See. The music's gone. The door wakes more than usual, but I push back into the corridor. Only f a few steps forward. The gym before... Uh, I'm sorry, only a few steps towards the gym before I stop. That noise was, was familiar. It's from the upper floor. Ceiling game? Oh. You still hear ceiling game? I spit on you. <laughs> Deciding to investigate, I hurry to the stairs. Maybe there is some like secret door in the stairway. You know, there's always an incident in the stairs. Still clean. While climbing, I massage my gums with my tongue. I did that just to try. <laughs> A test of copper. What is going on? The second story hallway comes into view. What? I shuffle in the, the direction of the noise. And soon I'm in front of Mr. Underwood's office. I knock on the closed door. Oh, I got goosebumps again. Hello? Is everything alright? Only silence responds. Uh, I'm coming in. Ojamasimas. <laughs> Just before my hand touched the knob, it rattles violently. What? Ceiling gang? I flinch and step back, staring at the jerking handle. What is going on? Uh, what are you doing? I spin on my heel and bump into Nat's chest. Ooh. <laughs> oh, cute, she blushes. 
she steadies me by the shoulders and pushes me back slightly. Why are you breaking into the office of the uh, teacher? Shaking my head, I sputter a response. No, no, there's someone in there. Ned stares into my eyes for a few seconds. After evaluating me to satisfaction, she releases me and opens the door. Empty. Okay, uh, I have a feeling, like, uh, I have a guess, maybe something like, uh, the writer wants you to think that the character is hallucinating and went insane, but there is actually something in the room, maybe something like secret door or something, secret illuminati play, uh, hideout, <laughs> I don't know, triple dot, she faces me. We will go back, okay? I don't know what to say. I walk into Mr. Underwood's office. There is no other exit. And the window is closed. Besides, we are on the second floor. Check for the secret d door. I'm not crazy. I think about saying. I don't say it. Ned claps my hand and leads me out, gently closing the door behind us. I lose myself in talks. Triple dot. We near the gym. And I jerk away. Want you to follow me? To help. Oh my god. Even she looks suspicious now. Am I overthinking everything? <laughs> I think everyone is suspicious. <laughs> or uh, this is like how writers want you to think. Why? Triple dot. What do you get? You need me for. You need me to have a reason? She pauses as I lean on the locker. It is medicine? You think I'm sick? My medicine? When stress exhausts ill, it is a good remedy to help someone else. I rub the back of my neck. Be careful. Are you going to tell anyone? Not unless you leave again. Well, <laughs> she means what she says. She really worries, huh? S sure. I avoid her steady guess and push off the locker and into the gym. I know some sort of Troublemaker? No, I mean crazy. <laughs> With skepticism, she eyes me from top to bottom. I replicate. Sorry, I hear something on my ceiling. Is that you, Kochi? <laughs> no, Kochi is sleeping. There's no way. I'm sorry, let's, let's continue. I read pre correct my eyes catching on her features. I have a boyfriend. Yeah, you told me. Is that what's, what's stressing you out? Question mark. You don't look sick or try tired. She runs her finger through her hair and watch me sad watch the student play basketball. It is difficult to be separate. Her eyes flicks be between me and the other student. 
I bet if you got suspended, they uh, they have to take you back. Her eyes widened. They? Your parents? Her lip curves curve at my joke. See? You are trouble. <laughs> Is it work that keeps you, your parents here? Yes. Oh, that's good, Sprite. Beautiful. I plop on the bleachers and Ned follows. She continues to watch me. Well, if you ever want to talk about it, I owe you one. What do you owe? A favor in return for you not telling anyone about my troublemaking. <laughs> you forget the water? Oh, you want me to owe you for a glass of water? Oh! Okay, what if uh, if you go to Nat's, uh, Nat's route, uh, he, the my cartoon's gonna go like, This is for the water bottle you gave me! <laughs> or something at the end! <laughs> and then she falls in love with me. <laughs> uh, th that'll be awesome if, um, if you do that. Well, devs, if you uh, watch this playthrough, you're welcome once again. You may be considered my ending instead. <laughs> okay. Two then. Okay. Okay. Oh, I kind of want to play Natsuot uh, in the future later, just to see if they can. Uh, they will do that. Uh, they will do that. Uh, I thinking. I guess. Content that I'm now stationary, she retreats to the court in her usual graceful way. Triple dot. I pull my forehead to wipe away small bits of sweat. Check if it's a blood. Remember when you were being paranoid? You think I'm always paranoid? <laughs> You are, I mean, uh, when you said this year was weird, why? Just curious what you mean, or oh, even has some conspiracy theories about the school. <laughs> the school is haunted, I'm sure of it. Question Alexis, what made you think of that? He said one. Actually, I experienced a ghost once. It's really spooky. Like, uh, I guess it's kind of long, so I'll tell you later if I had a chance. It says if a, if one's typing, I swallow and glance at the court. That performs a crossover, dribbling past two defenders. And to the post. She narrowly missed her layup. Here's some slamming. Uh, here's some door slamming. The music gun. Ex I'm sorry, excuse me. Loud noises from the second floor. Did you witness the ceiling gang as well? Moshi moshi. <laughs> moshi moshi. <laughs> I'm so sorry. He stopped typing. Maybe the teacher uh, caught him using phone and confiscated his phone, <laughs> I guess. Don't be so negative. So. <laughs> I gather the bottles of cleaners I knock from the shelf. My first instinct leads me to bend at the waist, which I regret with of low winds. I straighten and retreat from the dim room. 
arms curdling the supplies. Mr. Underwood was quick to text instruction to us in the group text. Very efficient. Thank you, Mr. Underwood. And Alice was quicker to address Holly and me with instruction of her own. I'm in the mood to sleep, not struggle for control, so I am humoring her. Stepping over the broken glass and my own dried blood, I ease my pallet across the desk. Mr. Underwood wanted us to clean the art room and gym today. Coach Jin will apparently hold us accountable. Thanks, Coach Jin, for doing your work. Probably forced by Mr. Underwood and you don't want to. <laughs> Alice asked that I handle this room while she and Holly take on the gym for the hour. I unfurl a plastic trash bag and begin my task. The glass proved easy enough to gather. My blood spattered on, under, and in, in front of the door, it's not easy to clean. Your blood? Is that really that, uh, that bad? It's not a lot, but it still managed to cause as much, as, as much, much mess as it could. Oh, and then Ivan's check because he hears a thumb sound from the from the second floor and realize uh, probably someone's cleaning the blood, <laughs> just like him now. I buff the floor with a dumb rack until drops the sweat from my forehead contributes to the lubrication of cleaning solution. That's really <laughs> deep words to use for. Cleaning of blood. Triple dot. I flake off a good amount of residue, but a few areas are just too stubborn. The music's getting quieter. The label on the bottle informs me. This chip stop won't cut it. I'll take the trash to the bin outside and stop by the science lab on the way back. Will you need a ride home? It's Miss Webb. Saying no is tempting as a gut reaction. I have to walk though. Yes, please. I'll be ready around 5. Wait in my room when you finish. Thank you, ma'am. Don't call me ma'am. I'm not that old. <laughs> I deposit the trash back in the bin outside. Wait. I did call her ma'am once. When uh at yesterday, last night. Maybe I'm overthinking, I don't know. <laughs> I think I'm overthinking. I, I should uh turn on the overthinking. and head to the science room. It, it feels heavy again. Expected an empty room, I open the door without a knock. Oh! <laughs> oh, you scares me, Alice. Don't ask me, I am also scared. Get down, what? She takes me by the wrist and yanks me behind the front desk with her. What? What's going on? What the hell? Quiet! Close your eyes! What are you doing? Why? She holds my head down firmly as loud explosion occurs in the middle of the room. What are you doing? Oh, is this the loud sounds I hear in the ceiling? 
basic but functional. Alice stands up with me and we observe the fractured plastic bottle, tip over dramatically. Thin vapor pops from the lid, a small bits of plastic litter the room. I blink twice and try sh shaking the ringing on my ear. Oh, it will be, it will be good if uh, they add the ringing sound, you know, on your ear. That will be good, that will be realistic. Well, uh, the devs, if you watch this, maybe you should consider that for the finish game. That will be cool, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> What are you doing in here? Oh, with uh, your cute smug face? Alice looks happy to answer that. I'm producing mini miniature hydrogen bomb and testing the various mechanical methods of production and contaminant. You're making a bomb? Bombs. Plural. Relax, Neanderthal. <laughs> Monkey. It's perfectly safe, but you told me to get down. It's not safe. Is it, Alice? I watched the small drink bottle. Doesn't look like it. What are you doing in here instead of the uh, of in the gym anyway? I'm interested in the energy production capabilities of the reaction and explore Exploring practical use via automation. In English, please. <laughs> oh, that'll be cooler in English. <laughs> what are you talking about? Two parts hydrogen, one part oxygen, high temperature, big boom. Understand? There are many uses for explosive energy. Oh. Is the main character gonna use the bomb later in the story? That'll be cool! Think hybrid cars Which utilize the energy release to make a more fuel efficient vehicle Why did you get hydrogen? There is no way we just store that here I made it simple I really like that smoke, it's really cute if only your personality uh, cleaner, I guess. <laughs> there are few ways to do it, but I combine sodium hydroxide with aluminium. I shake my head. Okay, whatever, fine. What are you not cleaning like you're supposed to? She closed the door I had open. Uh, I had left open. I'm not going to be a janitor in the future, nor a housewife. So cleaning duty yields no practical experience for me, but it was a punishment, Alice. That doesn't matter. See? <laughs> Len knows. It punishment. You know I could tell Mr. Underwood about this. I know that you couldn't tell Mr. Underwood about this. What's in your cheeky mind? Explain. I'll deny it, and ensuring conflict would hand handily destroy any team building efforts, and likely scrap the student union formation. She's gonna be a good lawyer <laughs> or a terrorist, <laughs> and you do not want that, so you have no power here. I have the power. While you're here, wanna be my assistant? She moves to the table and wrecks the bottle. Can you say uh, use the other words for that? Thank you. <laughs> no. Did you leave Holly in the gym? I did, yes. That's cold. As usual. And you called me selfish. I didn't say I wasn't to. 
fair point. Actually fair point. <laughs> fair. Yeah, that's fair. Do you know how to clean up blood? Alice glares at me, glances at the door, and places her head hand inside the desk drawer. Since I'm cleaning the art room, I need to clean up my blood from this morning. It dried and won't come up. Oh! She frees her hand from the drawer. Do you have a gun in there? Or another bomb? Yeah. Mix a little bleach with water. Let it sit on stains for 15 minutes. And watch it up there after. Huh. You sure? Well. She's the scientist, not you, Lin. Of course. I also have more true solution. But the simple method will work for your duties. She waves me away and returns to her task. I hesitated for a second then opened the door to leave. Thanks. Yep. Damn. Well, that's it then. <laughs> I return to clean up duty. I dust off the rest of the classroom while waiting for the solution to sit and afterwards rub it clean. Alice's methods works well. Actually, are you experiencing cleaning blood before Alice? Will you explain it to me? Oh, it will be cool if, uh, <laughs> I don't know, I have like some world, uh, world minds. It will be cool if Kane hasn't come back from his suspension and when they check, he's gone missing and Alice killed him. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> And the reason uh, Ken, uh, Ken and Alice broke up, not because Alice broke up with him, but because Ken found something disturb so disturbing, he just want to leave her. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> and she make up the story of uh, her broke up with him first. I don't know. I'm... It's not good for uh to be to be so overthinking, am I? <laughs> okay, I'll continue then. Some tiny patches remind on the door. I doubt anyone will complain when seeing this improvement, or maybe they would. But what? Oh yeah, that's the school's name, Chalk Cherry Hike, without a few blood stains. Will you help me? Crying emoji. <laughs> yeah, that's what I say before. That that's how I imagine Holly send a message. That's why the uh, the prank caught me off guard really hard. I thought it's not Holly, but it's actually her. With the cleaning. Yes, I'm allowed. Please, please, please. <laughs> I could help her. Then again. We are already even in my book. While I'm waiting for Miss Webb, I could check for the second floor again. Well, I'm gonna feel bad because I'm just cleaning the small amount of room and she'll, she, she's going to cleaning in the entire gym. So, I'll help her. It's fine. It's not like uh, I got a concussion or not, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's still rude, and it's it's because of Alice. So fine. Even would be jealous. Oh yeah, even like Holly, I believe. I'm sorry, Evan. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I could collect the supplies and transition to the gym. Why won't you tell Evan to to help with uh, the cleaning? He'll be happy, I guess. <laughs> I press the bench along the court. Holy lies on the back, immersed with... 
I take the back. She just. Oh my god, she just like a cat, it's lazy. <laughs> Immerse in her cell phone, she hasn't noticed me. What are you doing? <laughs> Holly hops up and stumbles wildly, nearly dropping her phone. Sneak 100. Oh, uh, hi. That was fast. And that was suspicious. Well, uh, it shouldn't be, because it's not. I scan the area. There is no clean cleaning implements. Well, which fuels my suspicion. Where are your cleaning supplies? Alex was getting them, remember? Remember? For 40 minutes, and you didn't think to check on her? She will be die with explosion wounds in her body. I, I most certainly did. I texted her uh, when she was helping you for a bit. She said to text you for help later, since you both will finish early by working together. Damn it, Alice! I pushed my palm across my face. <laughs> Fine. Excuse me? Fine. And why didn't you start here? She looks down into her head. Small feather. You both had the supplies. Then why didn't you come help? Or ask for our supplies? Oh, it's... It's... Always bothers me when the music starts uh, fades out. Seriously. Her eyes water. Her hand cleans together in front of her. She mumbles. What? Speak up. The blood. I didn't want to see it. Oh, excuse me. My eyes, my eyes widened as I realized why. Damn it, I shouldn't forget that. Now I feel bad. It's okay. I'm here now, so let's just finish up quick, yeah? See, not solemnly. And we began our test. I glance at Holly periodically to confirm her status. A few minutes pass. I'm sorry for not being around as much over the break. I not even wanted to hang out too. It's okay. I. I really was working a ton. Besides, I thought you might want some space for a while. Her smile returns. Everyone thought that at the same time, it probably didn't help that I had to get my new phone number. How about I make it up for you? Wanna spend time with me and Evan this weekend? I push the white dust mop over the floor, moving away from her. Oh, she's sparkling, shiny, cute. Maybe, if you promise to make it fun. My time is stopped here. You boys must earn it. Oh, we're gonna have a DND session. I would love to have that on the weekend. I miss my DND session. It's been a while. We're figuring out something out. So long as you you are not sick of me. By the end of our punishment session. <laughs> punishment session makes it sound way kinkier than it is. Yeah, I know. As I near her with the mop, I wiggle my eyebrows. Do you want it to be kinkier? 
No. <laughs> but she also wings. Cute. No. Bad. I chuckle and continue dusting the coat. Holly picks up trash from under the bleaches. The garbage stretch stretches out the trash bag she used to gather it. I approach as she grunts loudly, struggling to lift the bag. I cross my arms and watch her. Need help? Oh, I surely say, need a hand? <laughs> oh. Uh, I'm so sorry. Oof. Not from a peasant. I'm more like a mighty warrior. Fresh from battle, adrenaline still pumping through me. I point to my bandage. So come on, give me that. Gripping beneath her two hands from one with one hand, I squeeze the back. Close tightly and lift it over my shoulder. Oh, he's flexing. Nice move, Len. My other arm cartels, uh many of my of our supplies. Mighty indeed. I cannot say that word. I'm so sorry. How she follows or something. Boing. <laughs> She scoops up the remaining dust mop, and we journey to the janitor's closet. Can I ask you something weird? Oh, you wanna ask the ceiling thing? Sure. Wait. Baby? What's that supposed to mean? Have you heard or seen anything weird around school? Holly looks up at me, examining my forehead as it beats with sweats. Uh, what do you mean? Loud noises, banging and thoughts from the second floor. Nope. I could ask Granddaddy if there's construction. You don't want to ask him. I shake my head quickly. No, nope, it's not important. I have the trash back into the dumpster with a grunt before we move back inside and to, to the closet. What? Hey, uh, are you okay? Yeah, uh, it's a very long day. We restock the shelf with the slightly diminished supplies. Where are you going, Holly? Or at least I do. Now, not sure what Holly's doing. From behind, I hear a faint click of the door closing. Oh! What are you doing? Are you gonna cut my hand off? I'm so sorry. <laughs> I turn and look down at Holly. She's close, looking up to my eyes. Our valiant hero were torn and battered. Deserve a reward. I feel my cheek flush. What do you have in mind? Do you know that what Harvest Goddess are known for? Oh, okay. This is gonna be her main story about Harvest Goddess or something. I'm sure. I can see it. <laughs> maybe, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. There. Fertility. She giggles and squeezes my hand. Yes, but also their healing powers. What are you doing, Baka? <laughs> she. She messes my hand slowly with her soft fingers, pressing into the muscles of my palm. Then she slowly works her way down each finger. She rubs between each of her and every joint. Carefully, she rolls her slim fingers all over my hand. My, my eyes close, shoulders relax. 
Shy Mon. Ah, oh. you're good at this. <laughs> oh my God, I'm so sorry. She, her voice is a whisper. My hand rests limp in her grip while she systematically fondles me. I did this at con sometimes. Put Beb's strategies to lure in the otaku. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh, she's a professional. Maybe I got lure. <laughs> I speak in a whisper too. Completely relax. I bet it worked well. See Homs? She homes like a pirate, maybe. <laughs> I opened my eyes just in time to see her parting from my hand with a kiss. Oh, nice move. Nice move. You got a point from Len. I'm so sorry, Ivan. I'm so sorry. <laughs> her lips were warm. We are both blushing. With that, dear warrior, the ritual is complete. You will be fully rejuvenated with 110% health upon resting at the Nin. Oh, long rest? So it it's like a... Should I throw like... 2d20? <laughs> I mean 2d4 for long rest? I mean long rest will fully help heal me, what am I saying? For short rest, I mean? Wow, what a buff! Did I get one if I do all your work tomorrow too? Oh, she got he got charm. Maybe. Well, too bad. You need to pull your weight if you, even if you are tiny. Hee hee hee. Oh, she's really cute. I'm blushing as well. I feel my cheeks uh hot right now. Am I blushing? I think I am. <laughs> she spins around and swings open the door before hopping out. I follow with a stupid smile on my face. Ha! Huh. Holy run away, silly girl. Maybe she's embarrassed. I repeat the talk of Evan being jealous about my time with Holly. Probably best to spare him every detail. <laughs> Damn, maybe if Evan's gonna become super jealous and trying to kill me. <laughs> I feel unsteady. My fingers dig into my shirt, beneath the jacket and above my heart. The smooth polyester cotton fabric conf Conforms to my grip. Ready? My hand returns to my side at the sounds of Miss Webb's voice. Yeah, Miss Webb. Her eyes flicks over me. As me on the way. Do you? Her eyes lock to mine. Once we reach the first floor, stay home tomorrow. What? I didn't stutter. Is there a big incident happen tomorrow? It's gonna like murder or something? And you want me to say to be safe? Or you just want to check my health? Uh, why? My vision blur and, and I hold my hand off over my eye. She pulls my hand out. Are you serious? Maybe she's right, but I can't. I have to clean as punishment. You can. You have my permission. Do you know Mr. Underwood well? Rolling her eye, she resumes our walk. I know him a little. 
You call him Turner? So, I was just curious. What was he like? Like he is now, but happier. He has dark past. Rosalind leans against Miss Webb's car. As we approach, she noticed my curiosity. Sam's smart, right? Do you normally ride with her? Sometimes? Mm -hmm. Miss Webb slides into the front seat. It's unlocked. Ross and I join her. Oh, another CG? Seems like uh, they are in quiet mood. That definitely works for me right now. Well, it's been a long day. I wonder if she is dropping off me or Ross first. My attention turns to the window. I'm so tired. What a day. Triple dot. I smell Miss Webb's lavender eye freshener. And I think one of them is wearing a pretty perfume. Actually. <laughs> Excuse me? I drift to sleep for just a bit. Don't fall asleep. You, you know what happens when you fall asleep? Hey, we're here. Looks like my place is the first stop. Or maybe uh, Ross is not stopped in her house. Maybe somewhere else. Maybe they're plotting something. <laughs> I don't know, I'm so sorry, I'm being super overthinking. I, it just, I just like how to speculate how they overcome of the story. Yeah, that, uh, that's how I usually en enjoy the series. <laughs> I don't know, is it annoying? Maybe I should stop. I don't know. Oh, thanks again. Miss Webb offers me a long look. Get some rest. Well, don't worry, I got, I got buffed this night. Uh, this afternoon, evening. Immediately after I step out, Russ climbs into the front seat to replace me. Shush! What have I told you? Psst. Come on! <laughs> oh, they're really close. As I walk away from their arguing, I notice Jester curl on the front step. I bend to pat his back. Meong, oh, cute. Jester, oh, will you show the uh, the Jester image? I want to see a cat picture. Hey, buddy, this morning I could have sworn you were being stubborn again and stayed inside. Jester lifts his rear to press into my hand. Oh, cute! I cannot see, but I can imagine it. It's really cute. I step in front of the door and hold the knob steady while reaching for my key. Why does the sound uh, the music sounds ominous? But it's not locked. What? Looking back at where Miss Webb's car was, I confirmed they are only left. I hesitated. Opening the door slowly, I step inside the dark entrance. I ease the door close with an aud inaudible click. Like a rustling can be heard from my room. I inch towards the kitchen, one hand following the wall to keep me steady. My eyes adjust to the dark. Oh, the, the day's not over yet. What the hell? I slide a large knife, a large kitchen knife from its holder. The sharp tip faces towards as I wield it with both hands. The rustling continues. A camera! I hold my breath and move closer. What was that click? That's camera sound, Len. 
The sound is more distinct right outside the door to my room. What? What is going on? I kick the door open and face the intruder. Oh, come on, Evan. <laughs> really? <laughs> Yeah, I guess. What are you doing? What the hell do you? I lower my my weapon. What are you doing in here? Even having press himself against the wall takes a step forward. I I was waiting for you. Oh, maybe ab about my message? Yeah. Why were you Why were you messing with my shit? My shit. Okay, I'll just gonna say that. I was bored. Wow. Uh, I've been here for a minute. Huh. I don't hide my irritation. How did you get in? The spare. The key. The extra one you keep behind the stairs. How did you know? Not to self. Don't leave a spare out. You don't have to stop. Not on my account. I won't tell anyone. How about I give you my key instead? Wink wink. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. About the key, I mean. My anchor fades. I leave the knife again. Guess I'm going to have to kill you, huh? <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> Why are you in the dark? I set the knife on the bedside table and flick the light switch. But the light does not turn on, huh? The power is out, I think. Great. I rub my I rub my face. Okay. So. Why are you waiting for me? I couldn't say it in writing. You never know who is going to see it. Say what? What you say? It's true. The noise is at school, I think. I hold up my palm. No, it's not. I was joking. You're being ridiculous again. No, I'm not. Well, no, I'm not. Not this time, Hannes. I sit on my bed. Look, I'm really tired today. Len, I'm serious. I'm too. Out. Come on, man, just at least listen to him. I mean, this is like the first time even actually uh, getting on his own, you know, like thinking by himself. At least hear him out, he's a good boy. Hopefully they will give me the event road. I'm serious. <laughs> I... I go in the library instead of the study hall, in the afternoon. Yeah, it feels like unless there is half the student missing, Kotsu would notice. As long as I don't do it too often, it's okay. But I've been doing it more. Congrats on your new level of delinquency. It looks like he's... Choosing his word carefully, while he avoids eye contact with me. I'm not the only one in there, I mean. I've seen Principal Decker and Mr. Underwood talking. They were arguing today. About what? Well, I couldn't hear well. They were talking low, talking quietly, I think. Mr. Andrews said something about 
sustainable s- solution. That sounds really suspicious. What the hell? <laughs> I don't understand the problem. They were just talking. Most everyone at school knows things are tense bit because funding was cut. Oh, this is like Monster Inc. You know when they kidnap a child to collect the scream resorts? Are they going to kidnap some student? For some reason, I don't know. <laughs> I'm overthinking again, I'm sorry. I messaged the nap of my neck. That's... Uh, well, yeah. But they were really serious. I felt like if they cuff me, I'm in a lot of trouble. Of course, because you're skipping class. But why would they keep meeting there to have very important conversation? I don't know, but I do know it's probably not as nefarious as you seem to think. How do you know? It's not normal. But it's not really that abnormal. Look, I'll go with you tomorrow if it takes you to uh, feel better. Uh, okay, good. Uh, right at study period, right? Double right? Just what I like. Yes. Jeez, you need to relax. He stares at my bondage. Oh, uh, sorry. I'm so sorry. Did I say bondage? No, bandage. Oh my god. My hand, my, my head turns dirty after I see Evan. I'm so sorry. I need to relax. What about you? What about me? Sorry, I just mean, what's going on lately? Are you okay? I chuckle. I got a serious headache, but I'm fine. Why are the lights out? Beats me. I just got home. I'll call the power company later to figure it out. Why are you asking that, Ivan? Do I have to kill you for Lear? Real? There's still a knife in this room. You're not safe, Ivan. Oh my god, I got goosebumps. <sighs> Where's your mom? His concern become frustration. Why have you been like this? What's wrong with asking for help? You... You clearly need it. I stand up. I clearly need help, huh? Don't pull out the knife, please. Don't hurt Ivan. He just wore it, okay? Ivan steps, steps back. I, I didn't mean it in a bad way. It, it's not bad. How do I need help then? What the hell are you? Know? What the hell do you know? Uh, I don't know. You're right. I just think it's okay to ask for help. I'll help if I can. Well, I don't need your fucking help. Then, why did you ask me to join the group? Because I knew you say yes. Because you always do. That's rude, Len. Don't say that to Ivan, he's a good boy. You rely on me too much, and you obsess over what I'm doing. I couldn't dare to say that. How could you, Len? How could you say that to Ivan? He's just worried. Get your own damn life. I can't even say that properly, I'm so sorry. I, I wouldn't try. Get a single other friend if you can. Oh. Oh no. Len, what did. How could you say that? 
Don't you think he, even is your friend? Do you think that? Do you think that even is not your friend? What? Oh, that hurts. That hurts me. I feel my heart crack, man. That's really rude. Oh, I feel that. I'm so sorry. It, it's not my choice, okay? It's land. Because I'm gonna be your friend, okay? Ivan, I'm gonna be your friend. Seriously, I'm gonna be your friend. We're gonna have a D&D session together, okay? We're gonna have a good time. Doing some card games, maybe. Some grinding in RuneScape. Don't... Oh my god. Oh no. You cross the line, Len. You cross the line. I, I can't even say that. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my god. This is actually upsets me. Oh... How about the weekend, Len? How about how about our DD session on weekend with Holly? Come on, man! How could you say that to Evan? You know, don't you think it's strange? You you hear the the lot banging on the second floor twice, and the when the the stairs clean, well, yeah, when there's no janitors yet, ah, oh, I know, like, oh no, I feel bad. I need a break. I don't know. If I just worried, I also. Want to ask, where's your mom? Len? You clearly had something. Oh. Why? If I gently place the extra key on my dresser and exits. Oh. No, I feel like shit now. I don't know, how could you say that to Evan? Oh, I wish I can hug him. A good night's rest clear my mind. I am ready to focus on securing the president role and earning my part-time job. Unfortunately... Oh... Do you mean Alice Club? Well, no. It's not exactly a club, it's like part-time work for the school, and Alice isn't... Oh, I can't, sorry. I got left and drama already. It's not an easy sell. After the, the girl disappears in the hall among the, a mass of students, I approach a few more who respond similarly. Some have already heard about it. I guess from Alice. They just say they want nothing to do with it. Oddly enough. What did you tell them, Alice? A couple other students are even repulsive by the idea. No. It doesn't count as extra credit. It's paid. Uh, kind of like an internship. But... Why did they fire so many teachers? If they need help, it's stupid. Yeah, it's weird. Well, I don't know, but it's a, it's a pretty uh, good opportunity for us. Uh huh. I've gotta get to class. I stop him with hand on his shoulder. Me too. Hey, did you wanna wanna make our school better? No. <laughs> Nobody said that at school. What the hell? Get away! Crazy! He shoved past me and I watch him leave. They just are interested 
and why should they be? I am asking them to be my underling for minimum wage. It makes sense why other seniors are most annoyed by it. Mr. Fox, was it? Oh, uh, Principal Decker, that's your name. As gentle hand rest on my shoulder, cause, causing me to turn my attention to Principal Decker. Oh, sorry about that, I... Everything's okay. Please don't worry. <laughs> Are you alike? Uh, yes, ma'am. She smirks warmly. Good. I just saw, saw the result of your work yesterday. Your team did well. Well, it's better than nothing. Because we don't have janitor yet. Our team, huh? Ah, uh, thank you. Don't you know what we should work on later today? Oh, I'm sure Mr. Underwood will offer more direction. I'm pleasantly surprised by this alternative punishment so far. I'm not sure what to say as her eyes move over, my over me slowly. Please don't let your work with Mr. Underwood interfere with your studies, okay? I not. Okay, principal. Uh, I what? Um, I better go to class now. That's wise. Have a good day. At first, I wait for Principal Decker to move away. She doesn't. Why? So I go to class. It's worrying. Concentrating in class has been difficult since so many students have refused to listen to the pitch. And effectively, there are only few hours remaining to talk to students about joining the program. Probably less given than they also have plans for their free time. I linger in the cafeteria entrance. I recognize that this is the key opportunity. The points concern me. One, I don't I don't know whether we are we have enough students to form the group. Me, Alice. Evan, don't you dare say that name after yesterday, Mr. Fox. <laughs> Holly, assuming no one changing their mind, no one changed their mind. We need at least one more to even from the group. Kane, is it is Kane gonna join? Maybe. Students fall past me and form a queue. I moved to a wall outlet to charge, to charge my phone. 2. I need to achieve majority vote to and secure the president role. Otherwise... Hey you space cadet! Alice stands in front of me, pulling me from my thoughts. What? Space? Well, you're definitely not on your plan. Planet right now. What are you ignoring my test? Really? My phone died. I. Likely story. Anyway, stop asking everyone to join the group so haphazardly. You're making it more difficult for me to talk to them. That doesn't make sense. I'm just asking. I press my shoulder to the wall. Besides, I'm not asking everyone just come. No more than you, probably, given how many people you are also sabotaging for me. I don't buy it. She steps closer, hoping. You're way too aggressive about it. It's coming off as desperate and putting people off. I can see that. She, has, she got a point. Students are already disclining. To listen. That's my fault. Of course they are skeptical. Hey, wanna be my subordinate for a couple hours a week for a pittance? Pittance? What? 
instead of whatever your other plans were. Oh yes, perhaps I should parse it uh, exactly like that. Coming for me, maybe there are few weirdos into that. But you're right, empathy is a plague on our student body. Yeah, so she lifts her finger to cut me off. Which is why we need to be more measured about how we approach students. Quality over quantity. Well, we only need one more, so yeah, quality, I guess. I don't like how the way you parse that. We only need one more warm body. How many cold blood body do you want? We do, huh? I thought you said that you already had enough voting for it. Well, that didn't pan out exactly. Anyway, we need another. Wish I could call her bluffs more often. What are you telling me to do? I'm not going to stop asking people. I am requesting that you adjust your strategy such that this is beneficial for both of us. Focus on a few likely candidates to groom. So you can focus on lying to people to collect more votes. <laughs> See this just uh, physically turning away. Oh, that's cute smile. Think that you will, but if you ponder it, you realize my advice is sound. Alright, before you go, have you seen Evan today? Evan, huh? Tough one. He's like a ghost. No, he absent. He wasn't in calculus. Why? Oh, there is a choice, and I think it's important, so I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna save again. Be right back. Tadaima. <laughs> oh, yeah, I took a break for a while, uh, because for the F1 thing before, but we uh, took a second for you, so let's continue. So there's a two choice. Well, uh, I don't think I don't think Alice should know about this incident. I actually don't trust her. Not a single bit, actually. To be honest, she's really suspicious, and there is no point to uh, tell her about our plan. Or about the incident that we think. Because I don't think she'll. Uh, she'll. I don't think she'll uh, believe me anyway. Or she probably know behind the, the everything and then she hides something. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's there's a chance of that. She's the mastermind behind everything. So I'll just make a like, simple excuse. It doesn't matter for her. I was going to ask him to help recruit people. Good thing he's out then. That works. What's that small? Later then. Think about what I said. Sure. Later. She adds herself to, to the line of students getting their lunch. And I sit down to review my mistress text. Sure enough, she sent me a few this morning. Chat, chat sitting, my recruitment approach. Also, I also have one from Ross. Yo, I we can met homework. Wanna meet? Oh, my battery is low. Yeah. Well, you you should charge your phone every morning uh, before sleep. Yeah, but probably tomorrow. Is that okay? What day is it anyway? 
Yep. I hold my head and lean forwards on the table. Alice is right that I need to choose wisely. Okay, then who? I turn my phone in my palm and rub my thumb over the smooth touch screen. Rose will never go for it, would she? I spot Mr. Underwood walk walking towards me and straighten my back. He has full lunch tray in hand and coffee mug in the other. Uh, morning, sir. Oh, <laughs> you scares me, sir. Is that necessary? Clang. He places the tray in front of me and sits. Good morning, Len. Uh, is this mine? He traces the rim of his drink that his four fingers and stare at me for a few seconds. Yes, I've heard you have not been taking care of yourself. I want to check on you. Very nice of you. N thanks. I'm not all that hungry though. You must eat Reco to recover your wounds. Regardless, this is yours. How have you been feeling? Uh, this test was rough. But today's much better, I think. Do you normally eat in the lunchroom? He smiles. Most often, I make use of my office. Oh, you're sticking some food inside? Some wine, maybe, with principal decor? I began eating, since I'm actually starving. He takes a slow drink and doesn't point out my contradiction, probably out of politeness. Damn, Mr. Andrew is such a gentleman. I cannot be mad at him. I don't know. Hopefully, he's not like a twisted mind people on the inside. You know, <laughs> like the character that looks really cool and uh, kind. It's actually the most insane one and the mind villain. Hopefully not. Mr. Jin reported that the gym was clean well. Holly and I team up before the uh, the end to take care of it. Yeah. I see. I resume my meal as he relaxes. His comfort doesn't bode me bode well for any chance for of breaking away. I'll make I'll make the best of it. Have you talked with the school board about the group? I have. There have been a lot of pushbacks from those who believe the student program should be purely academic. Do you mean it won't be an option? He looks into my eyes. It will. The five con threshold will be an absolute minimum. However, if you can gather more, my arguments will hold more weight. Honestly, it's it's been a bit hard. Nothing worth doing is easy. <gasps> He's right. Oh, I really like him. I wonder to myself whether or not that's true. Would you be able to help? I know you're busy. In general, I need to be passive observer and overseas overseer for it to be a success. Sorry, uh, but why? The point is that capable students are able to act as a competent and self-motivated unit. You recognize that I have limited time. He straightened his back, a small stretch. The more effective you are without my aid, the more likely you will win additional hour of work. Do you understand? Uh, yes. There is also concern with risk when formally employed students. I will need to absorb the risk, pain case, structure it carefully, and upfront time investment for me in, is high. Did uh, 
What did they say about what happened yesterday? I avoid eye contact. Elaborate. The fight. The incident with Alice and Kane. He takes a long drink of his coffee. Then smiles. They are not aware of it. Who? What? Why wouldn't they be? Only a few faculty members know of the incident, and I'll have agreed to leave it to my to my discretion. Agreed, huh? Or blackmails, maybe, Mr. Underwood. You are being punished for it, and you understand the unacceptable behavior. I see no need to complicate our project or make it public record. Makes sense? Or maybe just an excuse, Mr. Underwood? <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I really like to overthink a story. To you? Well, do I? Quickly, I shake my head. No, thank you a lot. He stands. Take care of me, and I will take care of you. Trust in Kamina and that trust in you. <laughs> Be sure to eat and find a good walking rhythm with Alice. Yes, sir. Mr. Underwood exits the cafeteria, and I resume meeting. The twins of guilt pass over me, but I notice that I won't be able to contemplate it for long. Oh, holy hops to my table. Finally, Fred wants to pull us apart. What's up with that? What are you talking about? Oh, cute expression, new sprite. Her sleeve covered hands make the table with four emphasis. I have to maneuver all around Alice and Scary Wood to see you now. Alice doesn't want to talk to me, at figures. <laughs> no, um, well, sort of. Anyway, why are you afraid of Mr. Underwood? Yeah, you called him grandpa, uh, grandfather yesterday. What happened between that? He is really serious and why are you blasting like that i grin ah that's the grand goddess like on the form of a frightened animal in the presence of her superiors <laughs> she snatched my only slice of pizza failing to stop her i swept the air my reflex are slower than uh, than usual you get pizza as lunch and you don't want to eat it? I hope you remember the blood pack, boy. Consider it, it repaid. Uh, could we complete the pack tomorrow? I'm hungry. She licks the pizza from top to bottom, making a show of it. My goodies have claimed this morsel. Mortal. <laughs> oh, I, I love playing the ending with her. I fast fall. Don't do don't fast up too hard. No. You know what? Taunting me, she wiggles as she takes a bite of her of the slice. I'm okay with a lick or two from you. Oh bold move! <laughs> You'll just get slower, boy. You may grace my hand with an apology kiss. Again, if you like. Eep. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh, she's so cute. She runs away frantically, bumping into a student walking to his seat, which caused him to spill his drink. She apologizes without stopping, and hang he angrily shouts after her. She has way too much energy for her, like for me right now. I'll adjust my bandage. I watch the students chatting around me. Right after this afternoon library visit, I need to choose a single person to convince them. No matter what, 
I need to do whatever it takes. Oh. Oh, I really enjoy this video. I mean this game. But I think unfortunately I'm gonna end this here. I recorded for way too long for now. So I'm gonna end it here. Thank you very much for watching this video. I really enjoy this game. Really. I genuinely get upset, get happy, and get sad when things happen. That's really amazing. I love the story, I love the characters, and I love the mystery around it. There must be a mystery. I'm, I'm not crazy. There, there must be a mystery around this school. There's something wrong, and I want to uncover it. Honestly, uh, I don't really, uh, I don't really fun. I mean, uh, like dark romance is not my cup of tea. But mystery, I really love mystery story. I enjoy the uh, the dumb mystery or even the dark gruesome mystery. I I enjoy all of them. So I love even it's basically a dark romance they promote it. They it still has a mystery around. It. Hopefully I'm not overthinking it and actually there is nothing and I'm just thinking too much about it. Hopefully there is a mystery I can discover in the story. Uh, yeah and satisfaction and uh, like. I won't give you a blue balls, I guess. <laughs> well, yeah. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribe and like this video. Help me grow. I guess. <laughs> and also, you can still uh, support this game on Kickstarter. You can also try the demo by yourself. If you, if you want to. So you can get the full experience by yourself. So, I see you guys later. And have a lucky day.